It's day two of Governor Andy Beshear's state of emergency in the bluegrass state, and his attention grabber about Kentucky's nursing shortage is stirring support. I was very glad to hear that. We've had a nursing shortage for a number of years. The shortage has been exacerbated by the pandemic. The College of Nursing at Good Samaritan Hospital has 180 students. Much of the classroom instruction has had to occur online. Obviously, we can't teach clinical skills online, so we had to bring students in in small groups, and we're still doing that. Which creates its own level of anxiety, matched now by anxiety about the rising number of COVID cases as winter approaches. A few weeks ago, Hamilton County had fewer than 1,000 active cases. As this week ends, that number is 7,000. Hamilton County's health commissioner telling us about two teenagers whose parents recently died. And these are high school kids. They, they won't have their parent around for college or for other important moments in their life because COVID wasn't taken seriously in the household. The rate of non-vaccination in Hamilton County is 27 percent. Doctors see it as the main contributing factor for the steady rise in hospitalizations lately. Kate Schroeder of the Health Collaborative is seeing some hopeful indicators as well. Over a thousand first doses a day in the Hamilton County region, and most of those are children that are newly eligible. And then we have over 2,000 uh, booster doses a day in the Southwest Ohio region. All this tells nursing schools they know they're needed now more than ever. To continue to recruit um, and take as many students as we can possibly take. And what we heard here today is this, keep standards high, keep creatively thinking about the best ways to train these future nurses, these students, and just keep at it while the hospitals work to try to keep burnout at bay. Reporting live in Clifton, John London, WLWT News 5.